Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use conditionals in SCSS. Now, conditionals are basically just if else statements, and they allow you to make your SCSS files more powerful. So you can use conditionals to help your files to make decisions. So you can do certain things when certain conditions are true, and you can do other things when those conditions are false. It's really powerful and conditionals are, you know, sort of a core concept in any programming language. So over here in my text editor in this style.scss file, I have a mixin and it's just called text style and it takes one parameter as input size. And this controls the font size of the text and then we're also coloring the text blue. And then down here, I'm styling the header of my website and I'm including the text style inside of here. And so the header of my website is gonna use all of this styling. And you can see here I'm passing in 20 pixels. So over here on the website, we have a blue header that's 20 pixels. If I was to change this to like 10 pixels, then the header will change size. Now imagine that I wanted this header to be able to change colors depending on what size it was. So let's say if the header was greater than 20 pixels, we wanted it to be a certain color. If it was equal to 20 pixels, we wanted it to be a certain color. And if it was less than 20 pixels, we wanted it to be a different color. I can use conditionals to define that inside of my mixin. So we can start defining those attributes and I can use a special tag, which is just at if. And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna say, if a certain condition is true, then we're gonna use certain CSS code. So I just say at if, and then I can specify the condition. So in my case, I'll just say if dollar sign size. So if the size is greater than 20 pixels, and then I need these open and close curly brackets, then we can do something. So let's say if it's greater than 20 pixels, we'll make it blue. So now you'll see that when I refresh the page, since we have 10 pixels here, this is no longer gonna be blue, it's gonna be black now, because it's not greater than 20 pixels. If I made this 30 pixels though, it will become blue because the condition's true. I can also specify other conditions. So down here, I can say at else if, and this will basically allow us to specify another condition. So if this first condition isn't true, then we'll be able to look to this second condition. And if that condition's true, then we'll be able to do certain things. So we can say if else if dollar sign size is equal to 20 pixels, then we can do a bunch of stuff. So here we could say, we'll make it red. So now if I was to set this equal to 20 pixels, you'll see that the text is now red. And finally, we can use another thing which is called else. And basically this is code that will get executed uh, if neither of these conditions is true. So we can just say else, and then inside of this code block, we'll just maybe make it green or something. So now, depending on the size of this text, the color will change. So if I make this uh, 19 pixels, it's gonna be green. If I make it 20 pixels, it'll be red. And if I make it 21 pixels, it will be blue. So we're basically conditionally styling these elements. And what you'll see is when we come over to our style.css function, let's take a look at what the actual CSS code for this looks like. You'll see that depending on the value that we pass into here, it just changes what this CSS looks like. So when we passed in 21, it renders the header with a color of blue. If I pass in 20, it will render the header with the color red, right? So it's not actually like including like an if statement inside of the CSS, it's just rendering the CSS conditionally. So all of this happens before we actually generate the CSS file. So that's the basics of using conditionals and you can use these conditionals inside of these mixins to control what happens during certain circumstances. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.